I know I feel the same amount of that. I seriously can't wait. At the very least, I can make her feel amazing about herself. And like, you know. I've been getting increasingly anxious if Yuri's will come and visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long um, before I was already learning more about her. On your side, I haven't heard a thing from Sierra since she left the club uh, like the other day. Oh no, it's not like we test each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sierra said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sierra's feelings aside when she might need me? Oh no, I should. Oh yes, I get a visit Sierra before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sarah's house, I knock on the door before entering my myself. Again, we used to place it often that we've made a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Okay. The house is quiet. Siri isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's really strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally found her. Uh, Siri. Hi, Amber. Um, I sit down in her room. Oh, look at her. She's like, she looks really cute in a nice little casual outfit. Um... Sorry for a smile, but it's easy to tell she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Um, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Um, not much has really changed, has it? Sierra's room is as messy as it always has been. I recognise the same stuffed animals and more decorations that she's had for years now. If you come over more often, it won't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. Um, how come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but wait, how did you know about that? Siri had already left by the time we decided that last week. Monica told me. Oh no. Um, it's in natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. Liam, hello. Welcome. Um... How are you doing? What's happening at the crowd? We didn't plan to meet up or anything. So it's just me and Yuri then. Yeah, there's more signs between us. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing well. Um, I'm like playing a Doki Doki at the Lish Club. Um, yeah, we're quite a way three now. How many hours are in are we? So I've been streaming for nearly three hours. Um, so yeah. Everything about behaviour is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just want to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sari smile, shaking her head. Mata Primo, hello, how are you? Uh, so good number. Uh, why can't it just feel like it's always been? Um, so I've been wanting to play it for a while, but I just, I, I don't know, I've just never got around to it, I guess. But I finished my Little Nightmares playthrough, um, so I thought I would give this a go. Because, um, the second one came out the other day, um, so I thought I'd give the first one a go. Um, that's Pima, fair enough, fair enough. I appreciate, I appreciate you swinging by, um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, night, whatever time of the day is for you. Um, why well, can't I feel like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so we can accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake on it, then you wouldn't have to be worried about me at all. You wouldn't have to come here. You wouldn't have even to be even thinking about me right now. This is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so sad. What? Oh my god, she's like... Oh no. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to talk to me. Ehe. <laughs> Sayori, I grab Siri by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Siri <laughs> gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Ember. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. So she's insecure, but she's always put on 
a face, an act of being happy, I guess, seeing what, what are you talking about? You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Ember? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. I can believe that, I can believe that. Um, PJ shorts? What PJ shorts? Oh, like, like pyjama, pyjama pants kind of thing. Nice. Um, did you know, why do you think I'm at school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and carry it to waste by having them spend it on me? Um, damn. Well, I, yeah, well, yeah. Um, that's what it feels like and that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock, I can't even figure out how to respond. Um, is it possible? How is it possible that Siri kept me this from me the entire time I've known her? Um, I can't say this is a surprise, honestly. Um, like, it, it was there. The signs were there. Did she really want so badly for me to not think about her? Why, Siri? Why is that you've never told me this before? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. Um, I would have tried a little bit harder every day to make a bit better for you. That's family friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand Solon, but why do you think I didn't tell you? She did not want anyone pitying her. She did not want to be a burden, I imagine. Because if I told you, then you'd have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. I seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to touch me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sarah. I, I do. I think I feel I I understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop it, I think. Um yeah, like I I understand exactly. Um I mean I, it's what I've been saying um for the past few kind of game days. Um there's nothing, nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Oh no. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you come here and I made you hurt so I'm just weak and so like, oh shit. Um, that's why I'm going to accept this punishment. It's because I deserve every last one. Um, put it into a tight embrace. Uh, can we make you feel better? Can we like... I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing it every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Ember? Siri isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Siri's arms remain up by her side. So she starts sobbing down my hair. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this, Ember. I... Sorry, Bell manages to feature in herself. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have to, if you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. Um, get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Generally, Sorry finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything, it's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Ember. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Oof. But your hugs are so warm and that's really scary too. Aww. I should have picked her instead of Yuri. Why didn't I just stick to mates before dates? Siri lets me go, she just said I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun, right? Yeah, how would you like for me to spend it all with you? It's what I want, I promise. I, I think that'll be nice then. Yeah, yes, yes, it's fine, it's fine. It, everything's going to be okay. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. 
Of all days, this is this has to be the one that I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really won't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, you want to come along and help out. It'll be fun. To my surprise, sorry, shakes her head. I'm sorry, I don't know if that'd be very good for me today. That would be, yeah, I don't think it'll be the best for her, honestly. I'm a bit would, I don't know. She could feel like a third wheel. Which might not be very good for like her mental well-being. But then on the other hand, if she comes with, then she, it might make her realise how silly she's being and how we can all be like friends together and uh, be happy together. But then like, if she stays at home by herself, then she'll just like be overthinking in her head. And I don't know. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. Uh, it's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Okay, well we're seeing it tomorrow at the festival, so it's fine. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over to him. I think Sayori is right, I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should focus on what's ahead of me. Okay. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Oh, she looks so nice in like, her little casual clothes. Like... Uh, we were waiting for a long time. No, I just got here. I thought I started to get really nervous when anybody answered the door about. You could always have text with me. I feel like I would have reassured you on her more on my way home. Yeah, like... Yeah, she looks proper neat, doesn't she? Like... Aww. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. Um, it should become a sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. Um... That's right, and did you manage to find everything? I asked you to buy as well. Pretty much, at least I got, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, um, I see you're a room. Damn, I wish I had a room like this when I was a kid. Look how fucking big this is. I don't even think my room now is this big. Fucking hell, there's like a desk there. There's bloody fucking proper little wardrobe there. Look at, oh Christ. Like, my room growing up was fucking tiny. I had like a loft bed because my room couldn't fit anything else in. And it was fucking, it was, I'm, I'm 5'11", right? And I just, I couldn't even fit underneath the damn thing. Like. <laughs> um, the first thing she does not to run curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. I cleaned it before you came over, so thankfully my flat now, like I've got my flat and it's like it's actually it's nice and roomy. Like <laughs> um that's very considerate of you too, aren't it? I would be really impressed for my room to be a mess for you were here. Um well I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Um that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched your wrist, which was in the process of opening a death drawer of my oh god. So, like, where I keep the palm. Uh, I'm sorry. Mm, no, I was like, I'm 5'11 now, and I have been 5'11 since I was like, I think I stopped growing when I was 15, or like, I was shut up and I haven't grown since. Um, but yeah, like. <laughs> I was too tall for that room, damn it. Too tall for that room. Um, thankfully, the flat I'm in now, the ceilings are really, really high. Um, like, higher than they need to be. I think it is, it's because it's an old, it used to be an old pub. Um, so I guess, like, yeah, it gets high, the high ceilings from that. Um, which is nice, though. It makes it feel bigger. Um, like... Before I moved in here, I saw like a house viewing, and it felt really tiny and like almost claustrophobic because the ceilings like were quite low. Um, so, well, this has nice high ceilings, which is nice. Um, which is nice. I, I was just speaking out. Um, yeah, for sure. Whereas nowadays, like, houses seem to be more compact. 
I can feel almost like claustrophobic some of them. Um, especially when being tall, I do like a high ceiling because otherwise I just feel like too claustrophobic. Um, I like her furious rear. She uh, puts both hands firmly in her lap as if making sure she's keeping track of them. Uh, so, um, should we get started? Ah, uh, yes, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements, you know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far, of course. I wanted to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity and for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to help to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great, it's easy to forget you're a pretty intense person. Intense, I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? You know, so it's something that I like about you actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. Um, I'm kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax, I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Um, oh yeah, like what? Um, let's see, Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way home, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use candles to light the room. I think that'll be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that'd be really neat. What's that wooden thing though? Oh, well, this, it's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Gives me a bit of a headache, to be honest. Um, as I say, it's one of my favourite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or hopes you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. Uh, you can even feel it permeate through your body. I don't relaxation, positive energy, brain balance, reflection. I don't really believe in shit like that. Um, I don't. I don't think this kind of stuff works. Honestly, yeah. I think more than anything, it's more psychological. Honestly, um, I mean, you know. Murphy's Law? What's Murphy's Law? Remind me. I have heard of it before, but um, I can't... I can't... I don't know what's mind at the moment. Um, uh, I think my favorite probably is part of the Um, That smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. Isn't that to get, you know... To make you feel a bit more ooh la la. More than relaxation. Enhances your emotion and how you feel and through your body. Uh, you feel warm and your heart pounds more heavily. Do you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. You seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. She again reaches into a bag and pulls out several spools of the rope. What are these for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Um, so, nothing's going to go wrong. Everything's going to work out. The festival is going to be amazing. We're going to get new club members. It's going to be chill. And I'm going to like get Yuri as my SO and I'm gonna like lift her up and make her feel like a queen. Uh, what I'd like to do is write a different word in each paper. We need about 100 of them. Uh, yeah, what will be, they be used for? Um, well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract someone to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this. Is that so? I suppose I do get a little intense as you put it. Uh, Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a market and there you can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired lamp, and then she reaches into a bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. The knife is strange to beautiful. The sil silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. 
That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Um, and Barisha really looks weird. What is it? Are you going to think it's weird? Um, to each their own, you know? If you promise you a prepared style, alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. Uh, the combination of craftsmanship and a feeling of danger, maybe. Mm, I can understand that. Um, considering, like, I practice knife throwing, so I, I get that. Um, I don't think I'm worth this. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. Um, you're just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's an interesting thing to be into, I guess, but I think it kind of suits you. Um, it's kind of intense. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. <coughs> oh, my throat's getting a bit dry from all this talking. Christ. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. You're carefully handling the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Why do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow, oh, Ember, why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely twitched it at all. It's my fault I should have warned you the knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. No. Um. Um. If you're squeamish, I'll be washed it off. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in the mouth and licks it. Well, that just fucking got weird. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I mean... I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull back my hand. Uh, please forgive me, I wasn't thinking. Um, you really lowers her head, her face. I wouldn't complain either, to be fair. Um. <laughs> That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sure, it was a little weird and took the best prize, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? No, she's like, you know, getting in there. I think you're overreacting a little. She didn't lift her like you'd um, you wouldn't do that with someone you didn't like come on, can we get in there? You know? Not get not get in there, but like, you know. You know what I mean. I take your son and lick her index finger in return. Oh be effective as a door curtain. It looks great, good thinking, come up with this Yuri. Um, I thanks, it's just something I saw online really. Um, <laughs> are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Um, one of the items you had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolour paint tablets. We need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. <clears throat> If you fill the cups too much, it'll be diluted. Taking your advice, I decided to use a small plastic bathroom cup rather than full size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips and bring them back into my room. Yuri, yes, I can really see Yuri quickly rolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Oh, no, I think your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Not at all, there's nothing wrong. So let's mix the paint. Hmm. Um, I thought we'd do something simple that would look very nice. I like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colours for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and night time. Once it dries, I write up an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang out. It's on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me, if you say so. After rolling out the banner, you're in a manual on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri used a brush and adds a few dots of 
different colours across the bottom surf as the colour guides on pin. I still can't see how this is gonna turn into a horror. It's still so wholesome. Well, I mean, it's not wholesome, but it kind of is. It's like, we're making people feel better. Like, okay, they have, you know, it's it's quite obvious some of these people have um, some mental health problems, but it's like, it's kind of uplifting, you know? This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Um, how long ago have you been for? Okay, so we're like over three hours in now. It's still so wholesome. Pain's gonna buy one for like a feel something. I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, do it's, it's kind of fun, you know. Yeah. I'm glad you feel that way too. You always start painting for a moment, thinking to yourself, "If I may, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun." In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with another person, even if it's something simple like reading. It doesn't matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes me feel a bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing an experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles with Jenny. I know you'd understand. You only in save for the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time because my head's bumping to hers. Oh! Um, you are over back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you here? No, I'm not here. It just sat on me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Are your face? There are droplets of paint on your face and neck. Is this something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Is this what we're gonna like, you know? I'll get a towel right away. I rush and fetch a small towel and then dampen it with hot water. I return to my own room and kneel back in front of her. Oh, oh, oh guys. It's happening. Um, here, I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I started to retract my hand. Um, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait, just for a little longer. It feels really nice. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. Oh, is it happening? <laughs> uh, she looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognise from when she reads the books. Um, I mean, this game is like, it's like family friendly um, for the most part. Like, so I don't need to worry about anything getting too steamy. Um, <laughs> Uh, she breathes gently, half through, it's like the fire lips. What's happening is you're removing the jasmine oil, giving me this dizzy feeling. Um, you're a gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, and a tingling sensation through my arm. Um, and suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it did just a moment ago. Um, uh, you're so the pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. Oh. Okay, so there's no, like, cheeky. The moment it's over as soon as it began, Yuri picked up, picks up her brush again. But her moment seemed clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. Um, that should do it. I finished feeling the nice guy with white dots all over the stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. So are you going to add the lettering now? Oh, uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but it would not take a while. Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here uh, and then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Okay. Uh, was it wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I was a little concerned about time and start making dinner soon. I was secretly hoping I could have extra time as to finishing the work. Yuri thinks to herself, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. 
I'm sorry, I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault, sorry for being such a slow worker, it's not my fault at all. And the important thing is we've got everything done. Um, hmm. Is she upset because we didn't, you know. Once your packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. So I'm assuming tomorrow is like the last day, I think. I think tomorrow is the last day. Um, so I guess we can finish this game on the stream. Um, about today, it's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out sometime. I forgot you didn't like giving out much. I just don't believe more is. You really simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful, Amber. You really take steps close to me and briefly squeeze my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly comes back. Oh no, it's Yuri. Oh, hello. Hi, Amber. Sorry. Uh, just now, we weren't here. It's okay, Amber. I just stopped by to say hi. It's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so that's fine, right? Of course. Sorry, Beans. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, a bit awkward. Um, so I thought you didn't want to come over today. Um, uh -huh. Well, I tried seeing in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. Okay, so that's what I was saying before, like you know if she's by herself with only her thoughts and then sometimes you can get caught up in your own mind um so I have to come over and see it for myself see what what you're talking about you know how much fun you were having with Yuri and how close you've got to her it makes me really happy that you've made such good friends that's all that matters to me oh no oh no why am I feeling this way Amber I'm supposed to be happy for you why does it feel like my heart is blinking off oh no it hurts so much, everything hurts so much, oh no. This will be so much better if I could just despair, sorry I didn't say that. It's true, Amber, if I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right, I should just, Monica? Monica was right about what? Say, Ari, what I said before was true, I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy, it's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else so even if it takes an entire lifetime I'm gonna be by your side until you don't feel any more pain but I put a hand on my shoulder I'm scared I'm but I'm really scared what are you scared of Siri I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me oh no oh no Siri it's true isn't it I was weak and started to like you too much I did this to myself and um, but I like you so much that I want to die please don't that's how I feel, and that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always knew what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give you. Oh, shit! Oh, I guess we save. I don't love her, I can't lie. Like, I love her as a friend, but that would probably be like, I think we have to go with this. You'll always be my dearest friend. We need mates is for things to be like, they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happy you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help things get back to the way they were. I see. Um, a sorry false smile and an incredibly feigned expression. Uh, this is what it feels like to get s Oh no! Oh shit! Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. It's okay, this is just my punishment, remember, for being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right, I know this whole time there's no happiness down the path. 
That's why I came here, just so I could get the answer I needed to her. And the other thing, you're so right that I just want it to go back to the way it was. I realise that now. You really do me, know me better than anyone in, but oh no, shit. I trust you with anything, anything at all. I think I made the wrong choice. All of a sudden she turned around and drops to her knees. Oh no. Clutching her with both hands, she screams as loud as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sorry looks over her shoulder and flashed me one more weak smile before turning and running off. Sorry. I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. I'm feeling so horrible about this. There's nothing more I could have done. The most I can do is support Sierra through her feelings and help her on the path, that's right. But I'm having as much trouble in strength with Sarah's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. Oh shit. Thank you.